page 16 skirts so six eight time or one flat they tell you it's in d minor but otherwise you'd say well is it f major or d minor because those are the two keys with one flat and we look at the end of it here it ends in a d minor chord we figure it's in d minor right hand first an eighth note gets a count from six eight time one two three four five six and this is fun and then the last measure the first line cross over just cross over to get the so forth you do that some more third line down second measure and that LH means left hand the left hand is going to cross over and play that D I'll come back to that when I get to the left hand next measure you got to move up you have time because the left hand is playing the note so the right hand has time to sneak in underneath it and come up here don't forget the B flat And then at the top of 17, you got to come back down here. So you're ending page 16 here, and you're just going to lift up and move. It's the end of a phrase. There's no phrasing mark, but take my word for it. It's the end of a phrase. Just lift up. You do that some more. Second line on page 17, you're going back up here. Now here, you don't have a rest or anything. You got to go from this note. This is the second line, going to the second measure, up to here. Again, you lift up and move. Here. See the double bars there? That's a section break. That means it's you're finishing one section of the piece and starting a new section. That's what the double bars mean. So usually you'll lift up between them. You'll have just a speck of silence between them. Not always, but usually you do. And you do it up here. Third line down, last measure. I'll come back to this in a minute. Left hand. The left hand, for the most part, is going to be soft because it's just got the chords. One chord, four chord. And the end of the line's five, seven chord. You need to know these chords, so hopefully that's not a problem for you. Get down to the third line, second measure, where the left hand crosses over to get the D. Then it's got to come down here. Just lift up and move because there's no time. You just know where you are and know where you need to go, and the fingers involved. You got three notes to hit all at the same time. Not that easy to do, but do the best you can. Now we're in the key of F, by the way, which is one flat. Remember, F major and D minor, both of those key signatures, the one flat. So here, F, four chord end of the page there is a 5-7 chord and then you're coming back down to D minor page 17 second line you're here the first measure is here and here then you come up an octave higher just come up here all the notes are in the upper staff the bottom staff isn't being used for anything that's why it's empty put the hands together at the beginning here now that left hand has eighth notes you hold it down for one beat and that's it now you get to hold it down for three beats on that one and then you do it again let's go over to page 17 second line you're ending it here it's got to come up here. Don't fast and jerky motion or nothing like that. You just lift up and move. But there's no rest or anything, so don't take all day to do this. Just here, move. Both hands. You might have to practice that. We do practice hand movements if we have to. But you're just playing the same thing an octave higher. And then in the third line, second measure. Now, a couple notes here. Uh, this is a uh, third line last measure on page 17. The note in black type, both hands ABA. So they're telling you here, simply move both hands up an octave. Pretend the note's up here. Here, I'm playing all up here. That means the last measure up here. The left hand's got to go way up there. There's another way of fingering, but we'll do that. 
Don't lean. If you can help it, just try and twist your boss body a little bit and reach, depending on how big you are. Then there's also a note there in the third line in red, accelerando poco a poco al fine. Accelerando means to gradually speed up or to accelerate. Little by little, poco a poco, al fine is the end. So you gradually speed up all the way to the end. So you just pick up the speed a little bit, like you're rushing to finish it. Now, back at the beginning. There's no real phrasing in here, but if you follow the words, you'll see sentences. You can lift up the right hand between the sentences for the phrasing. The dynamics, medium loud at the beginning, that's the right hand. think medium loud is. And in the second line, second measure, now it's very soft. That's the right hand. The left hand has to be really seriously soft, huh? And then all of a sudden you're very loud. So the right, the left hand can get louder, but keep it less than the right hand. Now the right hand is very loud. So. So you get to the third line, last measure, and you come up here, now you're back to medium loud again. And that's the right hand we're talking about. Top of page 17, you're soft again. The left hand is very soft until the second line, second measure up here, you're back up to medium loud. And the third line, last measure up here, now you're loud. And this is kind of hard to do because the higher up you go on the piano, the harder it is to get loud. So make an extra effort. And we want to hear the right hand here too. Just gradually speed it up. Right there. And it ends loud. As far as the speed goes, Andante Moderato is in the middle on the slightly slower side of the middle. Because the middle, is, it's a range. The moderato is a range. So Andante is a slower part of that moderato range. How fast would you sing it if you sing it? And that tells you how fast to go because... Not really fast. You're saving all your speed for the end when you start speeding up. Doesn't say how much to speed up, you just play with it and have fun with it. At the end, that fermata, I'm going to hold that six counts instead of three. That, you know, they have a pedal on that. I don't know why. I disagree with it. You don't need pedal on this piece. I don't recommend you use it at all. Don't bother with that. I'd like to play it slowly with you to double check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do the dynamics and I can't speed up with a metronome. We'll just play it straight through. So I'll give us six counts when we're starting here. One, two, three, four, ready, go.
five, six, hold, two, three, off. 